What up, Beamers? In my best Dwight Schrute voice, question. Is there an ideal length for the videos you post for your business on social media? Well, this is one of the most common questions we get. And the answer is, well, that depends, because there's no hard and fast universal rule. In this episode, we're gonna go over three factors that go into determining the best length for your video so that you can answer that question for yourself. First off, big shout out to the Pearl City High School Broadcast and Digital Media Program. Uh, this sweet shirt is in support of their team, which they are trying to raise funds to send their students to the big competition in Georgia, which is happening in May. So if you wanna support some really amazing students, there's three of them that we're trying to get there to Georgia. They got a GoFundMe. Uh, I will put a link in the description below, but good luck kids. All right, let's get into it. Now determining what the length of your video should be consists of three factors, platform, audience, and content. Let's start off with platform. If the primary platform for your video is social media, look at what is allowed on the platform you're creating for and what the current recommendations are. This info that I'm about to share with you is good as of right now, which is April 2022. So if you're watching this far into the future, things may have changed. But for now, this is what we're looking at. Starting off with Facebook. Facebook allows a maximum of 240 minutes, but they recommend around three minutes for videos. Next up, we have Instagram. Now, Instagram's a little tricky, so you have a couple options. If you want your video to show in its entirety on the newsfeed, then you have to keep it a minute or less. Now, if you want a longer video to go on the newsfeed, you can put a longer video of up to 15 minutes, but what will happen is after a minute has played, it'll stop and it'll say, click here if you wanna watch longer. So sometimes when you do that, you tend to possibly lose your audience because they're not willing to take that extra step to click that button to watch the rest of the video. But if your video is really good, then theoretically they will say, yes, I wanna watch more, click. So that is what you have for options for videos on Instagram. Either keep it under a minute, or if you're gonna do that longer video where you're willing to have people click through to watch the rest of it, keep it at about two to five minutes. Now, another option for Instagram is that you can use Instagram Reels, and that is 15 seconds to a minute long. Why we need more different ways of watching videos on Instagram, I don't know, but it's there. Next up, we have TikTok. Now, TikTok allows videos anywhere from seven seconds to 10 minutes long. And currently they're recommending that you keep your videos 15 seconds or shorter for this particular platform. Next up, we have YouTube. And YouTube allows you to load really long videos. In fact, we've actually done a video that was over eight hours on YouTube. Not that I recommend that you do that, because uh, really, who's gonna watch an over eight hour long video? But for our particular project, it made sense. But as far as the recommended amount of time for videos on YouTube, it's recommended that you keep your videos two minutes long for viral content or 10 minutes long for longer content. Last, we got LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn says that you can upload videos as long as 10 minutes. Um, they recommend that you keep your videos 30 seconds, but they do say that longer videos can also do well too. So again, it just kind of depends when it comes to LinkedIn. There's all kinds of different videos, and I'll explain a little later how you can figure out what might be a better way to gauge how long your video should be for LinkedIn and for all the other platforms as well. Now, there's an article from Hootsuite that we got a lot of this information from and there's a link in the description if you wanna check out this article. It's super interesting, very helpful. Hootsuite's really awesome with this kind of stuff so I recommend you checking that out. Sorry, real quick side note. If you're planning to show your video to a captive audience at say like a live event, um, general rule of thumb is you wanna keep your video about two to five minutes long. This is just a common question that a lot of our clients ask us, so I thought I'd throw that in there. All right, let's get back into it. Our next factor is audience. If your target audience is older, uh, they probably have a longer attention span than say teens and young adults. We've noticed with our own kids who are 12 and 15, they'll sit through a longer video, like maybe 10 minutes or longer, but they'll be doing so while doing something else at the same time. So as the video is playing, they're probably playing video games or they're drawing or doing something else. So they don't have 
uh, their full attention to the video. But if the video is super short, like say 15 seconds or less, then they'll have their undivided attention. Even if your audience is older, the content still needs to be interesting in order to keep their attention. You know, speaking of which, I'm curious, what is the target audience age that you're trying to reach? Throw in the comment below of what ages you're trying to reach or planning to reach with your videos. I'm genuinely interested in finding that out. And the last and final factor is content. Now this is usually the driving factor in determining the length of our videos. We always tell our clients that we'll aim for a certain ballpark, but the content will dictate how long this video will end up being. With attention spans being what they are now, the faster you can communicate your message and story, the better. Even if your primary platform is say Facebook and your target audience is older, you shouldn't make your video three minutes long just because that's what the platform is recommending. If two minutes is all you need to get your message across, then your video should be two minutes. No need to fluff it up with extra stuff just to reach that three minutes. They'd much rather appreciate that you kept it short and to the point. But if your story needs 10 minutes to tell it fully and all 10 minutes are engaging, then let it be 10 minutes. There's been so many cases where we've had a video be much longer than we thought and the people watching it were like, oh, that was short, what, was that three, four minutes? And we're like, no, it was like eight or nine minutes because it felt like the, that it was short to them because they were engaged, it was interesting to them. So the content is what really moves how long this video should appropriately be at. Just make sure that when you're editing that you're cutting out anything unnecessary and just keeping the core pieces that are needed to tell the story to convey the message. We talk about how Jamie does this with her brutal edit in our how to make an intro video episode, which I have a link to that in the description below. So, got everything? Again, how long should your video be? No universal answer. Things you gotta think about is the platform you're showing your video on, the audience that you're showing it to, and the content of the video. And that's it. Once you figured out those three things, you'll be able to determine how long your video should be. Now, if you like this video, please help us out by making sure to hit like. And if you don't subscribe to us, please do so. It's gonna make sure that you don't miss a single episode of Video Marketing Made Easy. And if you think others like yourself can benefit from what we talk about, please share this video with them. We'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't joined our private Facebook group yet, do so right now. I put a link in the description below. It's a free private Facebook group where you have exclusive access to the live Q&A after each of these episodes where you can ask me and Jamie all of the questions that you have, especially if this was confusing to you or if I didn't cover all of the things that you were thinking of. The Q&A is where we can give you those answers as best we can at least. So make sure to join our free Facebook group. Join us next week on another episode of Video Marketing Made Easy. Bye.